Thanks for joining us on Mission. In Mission this evening, the Krachi and Chumuru Disability Association in the OT region suspects corruption in the disbursement of the Disability Common Fund. Secretary to the Association, Emmanuel Kwekumensa, said the fund has not benefited many people. Section 1, Act 455 of 1993, establishes the District Assembly's Common Fund and makes provision for 3% to be mandatorily be allotted to persons with disability. In the Krachi in Chumno district, for instance, there are more than 1,000 registered persons with disability. But records at the district social welfare department indicate that about 400 have benefited from the fund. We may not be able to capture everybody. They made some funds available in 2017 for that purpose of reaching everybody. So we created an album. The album is to know the, the type of disability that we have. The Area Disability Association is worried about this development. They alleged, although government ensures prompt quarterly release of the District Assembly Common Fund, disbursement to beneficiaries is always a challenge as the process is characterized by what they termed as unnecessary delays. We go to them. When we go, we, we are given excuses. The Auditor General has recommended all funds sitting in account of PWDs should be disbursed before the start of a new year. But this was not the case of the Crouchy in Chumuru District Assembly. Last year, for instance, information available indicates that only one quarter was disbursed to beneficiaries, with the remaining quarters sitting in the PWD's bank account, as at March this year. Secretary to the Krachi Injumro Disability Association, Emmanuel Kwekumensa, said, Persistent follow-ups to get the assembly to disburse the fund to fellow beneficiaries have not been successful. He told the mission team he suspects corruption on the part of some stakeholders in charge of the disbursement. The Disability Common Fund, which is 3% of the District Assembly Common Fund, is partitioned into three. 10% goes into the discharge of administrative duties. 10% also caters for the educational and health needs of PWDs, while 80% is disbursed to beneficiaries. And this is where the association suspects corruption. If you go to market and buy a comb, maybe 5,000, and then you give it to a procurement officer, and they say uh, some other things, even some of the items are not there, 7,000. It doesn't speak well. So what the, the aim of the government is to make sure that uh, the right things are done. And if this goes on, I don't think it, it will defeat the aim of the government. So you, you suspect corruption? Uh, uh, yes. He again accused the assembly of patronizing inferior goods for beneficiaries. And most attempts with the procurement, when they go to buy, some of the attempts are not in good use. So we mentioned about two or three of them are still there. Because they are, so they are, I think either it is spoiled or I don't know. But the Krachi in Chumu District Social Welfare Director Norbert Oklusenyo disputed the allegations, attributing the delay to newly introduced procurement processes. The government has introduced a, a new system called GIFMIS. And then if you look at the, the process, it's a bit uh, lengthy. Without the approval from the system, nothing goes on. He said those who have benefited from previous funds have had their lives impacted. The Disability Association wants a broader stakeholder engagement on the Disability Common Fund. Stanley Nibleu, TV3 News, Chinderi, Krachi Nchumru, Oti Region. And that's it for Mission Tonight. Remember, Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. You're watching News 360. We're also live on DSTV Channel 279. After the break, we have more news for you. Please stay with us.